it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. Today we are touring a rural Japanese island. I'm really, really excited to see it. If you guys like island tours and being inspired by these amazing creators, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I do put out videos every single Wednesday and Friday. So a little bit of background on this island in particular. It's by Maya, also known as Maya Crossing on Instagram. The city of Tomioka is actually a little city in the Japanese countryside where they lived for several years and it's surrounded by mountains. So this whole island is inspired by that one area. And what's also really cool is this island is the setting of the island creators web novel. It's called Tomioka Story and it follows a young girl who discovers a ghost that inhabits the island, all their adventures together, and then they end up discovering the origin and the magic of the island itself. So the web novel is actually three seasons and the third one is being released on Maya's Instagram. So go make sure to give them a follow. And yeah, I'm really excited to look around and see everything that is on the island of Tomioka. Whoa, okay, so there's a giant lake in the middle. This looks absolutely stunning. Here is the dream address also on the screen, but as per usual, all of the information will also be in the description box. Okay, so we have one house here, and then we have a little tent back here next to the campsite, which is so cute. And then for villagers, we have Sky, Fang, Lopez, Coco, Chrissy, Francine, Hazel, Cole, Genji, and Dizzy. All right, I am really excited to see some viewpoints on this island because that lake, I have a feeling, is going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and uh, let's start walking around. So this entrance is definitely on the more urban side. Wow. That's how you do an island entrance. <laughs> I mean, that's really, really cool. <laughs> Now I know on this island too that we do have to access some points via the warp pipes. Oh wow, how cool! Look at this! Hello. <laughs> so that is also good to know. Um, as you may have seen, some of the island is definitely surrounded by water. So let's go ahead and look. Um, let's go to the right, I think. Oh, actually, just kidding, I cannot. <laughs> let's go to the left. Yep, definitely getting that overgrown type of vibe. Even though it's incredibly developed, we have all of these houses, lots of structures as well. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a net, how fun. And of course, surrounded by the bugs too. I also love this little soccer field right here. Makes it really, really nice. Then I think we are actually close to that very first warp pipe. Thankfully, I was told exactly where to go because it's a bit hidden. So let's go ahead and check that out. Also, as you can see, resident services is down here and we absolutely will be returning to resident services to access the back part of the island. But for now, oh, I also love the, these are the hydrangeas, right? They look really, really nice planted so closely to the path. So this first warp pipe to access part of the island is back here, I think. Yes, oh, wow, it is hidden so well. The great thing about those warp pipes is they really can be camouflaged with trees and bushes, which, whoa. Wait, are we in the back middle? Is that where this takes us? It is, okay, how cool. So now we have gone on the other side of the lake. Wow. This is so neat. Look at just the massive amounts of bushes too. Something that I absolutely love are out of season bushes. The ones that aren't blooming, they're just green. And there are plenty here. This is so cool. And how many inclines? At least one, two inclines to bring you up here to the top. It's almost like these are idols or guardians. Wow, 
This definitely feels like an altar of sorts. That is cool. What a cool concept to put this at the back of your island too. It's very hidden. <laughs> and then back here, there's a little sign. Can I go back this way? Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened. Wow, and then you can come walk along this edge. Oh, how perfect is this for stargazing? What a beautiful spot. It's just so secret. Absolutely stunning. And it's true, you never ever would have been able to find that spot with a warp pipe, you know, unless, unless it was really shown to you. It was just camouflaged so well. Also, might I just say, all of these statues right here together look so nice. And with the stone arch, and this custom code right here, that's kind of in between these inclines, it ties it all together so nicely. Yeah, I can't get over like this view. Amazing. Well, I guess, I guess we'll go back. So now you can see where the warp pipe is on the right hand side. But man, if it's not pointed out to you, you really, <laughs> you really would struggle finding that. And that's a compliment, by the way. Oh, and how nice. And back here, there's also a little seating area. Oh, wow. And that is the lake view. Whoa. Something about lakes. I love them. I never thought I would hop on that trend, and I did in my last island. I'm gonna take a separate picture of this because it is beautiful. But it's just so stunning the way that it creates that, you know, haze. The game really, really does a nice job with perception. And like, especially if you have perspective builds and stuff, it's great. So then let's go, you know what? I'm gonna turn on this firework because I'm tempted. <laughs> we'll go behind resident services as well, but I'm loving all these little gardens that are kind of scattered around. Firework. Speaking of the fireworks, let me know what you guys think about the newest update. Do you love it? Do you hate it? It was kind of expected, but I think there are some really big updates to come, probably closer to the holidays because Let's be honest, Nintendo definitely wants to make some money and it's a slower time of the year in the summertime as far as retail goes. But yeah, I think we definitely have some, we definitely have some bigger updates coming. Also check this out. Whoa. That is quite a view. And I guess this takes us to the back right portion of the island. I'm loving the double incline and double bridge moments that are happening here. Like on the other side, we saw inclines really leading up to a steep area, but now we have two bridges bringing us to one of these floating islands. Wow, that looks so good. The rusted simple panels with the oil barrels. Oh, everything looks so nice. Bubble gum. <laughs> Oh, and we have some villager houses over here. How neat. The usage of simple panels on this island really makes a difference in the whole aesthetic and feel. Also, major appreciation for all of the actual in-game pathing that's laid down. Like this is all the dirt path. That takes so much time. Oh, a friend. Watch out for the shadow. Okay, so that has to tie into the web novel and the story that happens on this island. Oh no! Oh, did I just fall into? I did, I did, I fell into a pit. Look, you can see my shadow struggling. <laughs> I wonder if that's what happened on the other side. I bet it is. I bet I fell into a pit. Is that what this is too? Nope, this is not one. And here we are at the campsite, but also, not just the campsite, this is where our friend lives that we just spoke to. So let's see what's inside. Just a sweet little 
title, Humble Beginnings. Something about restarting, uh, it's just so therapeutic and having just that set up with the cot, you have your little light, you get something to play music, and that's really it, you know, that's all you need. I really like this campsite though, it feels lived in. I mean, this person has been camping here for a minute, you know, they didn't just land and pull up and set up. They have been here for quite some time. And look at these back rocks. Oh my gosh, I'm in another pitfall. <laughs> oh, I keep getting so confused. I guarantee you that's what happened when we were in that area with the guardians and I had no clue what was going on. Ew, look at this bug. Ugh, what are you? I know you're a little sea creature, but you're kind of gross. That is so cool. I really like how parts of this island are only accessible either through the warp pipes or like this one, we had to sneak behind resident services. And I think that's really cool. It didn't even look like there's room back there to do so, but you know, I was told ahead of time to sneak back there and that's exactly how you do it. And then this bridge, oh, it takes us to just a little fishing area. That's cool. This really feels like, you know, a grungy kind of fishing dock where it's not like, you know, you don't have the wooden flooring, you don't have a boardwalk. It's very, it feels like gross in the best of ways with all of the rusted flooring. How cool. Something that's really neat too about this island is like the layering that's happening pretty much everywhere of all of the custom codes with the in-game path. So cool. Yeah, so you it, it looks like you cannot access that back bridge right here, but you definitely can. You just have to know ahead of time that you can sneak back there. So let's go on to the right, why not? Let's see what's on this side. Ooh. I'm really liking how all well, maybe not all, but most of the villager houses thus far are really camouflaged by these simple panels so that they match the aesthetic of everything else that's going on. So cool. And I do think, are they called the utility poles? I think they're such an underrated item. I think they're so good. They look good on most types of island. You can do the most natural forest core kind of island and use those and it still looks good. I feel like they're underappreciated, so I'm gonna give them some love. <laughs> and what is up here? Is this another viewpoint of that beautiful river? Oh, it is. It is, it is, it is. I'm very excited. Wow. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try and get, I'm gonna try and time this to get a really cool picture. Let's see. Fun little trick I've been practicing lately is <laughs> trying my best to get get that angle as I'm toggling my little controller here. Boop. Yeah, I think that's a good one. This is a really cool land bridge too. Wow. This island really, really does a great job of making the theme really stand out on every, every single element, but at the same time, giving those classic, amazing viewpoints. There's lots of natural elements happening. I have not had my coffee this morning, so if I sound crazy as I'm talking, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm just talking like a mad woman over here. I wonder, is that a little tree house or is this, look how sweet that is. It looks like I can access it over there, but I'm excited to see that area. Oh, something about this spot is just so nice. Look at that. And I'm loving this colorway in the wooden toy horse. I don't think I've ever seen that. And this too. So if you don't know, this is actually a palm tree planted 
but it's not gonna grow because it's not in sand. But I, I think they look so cool planted like this. They almost look like they could be any other, you know, whimsical plant in a garden that you have. Whoa, look at those wind turbines. <gasps> Holy moly. What? Okay, we have to get down there and see what's happening, but I do wanna explore as much as I can in this area too, cause I'm just, I'm kind of in awe. So pretty. And I love the time of day that this whole island is set in as well. Just that little glow that we get from the sunshine is beautiful. Okay, this is, hello my friend. Look at that. Wow. Sorry, I don't mean to push you friend, but. <laughs> and that is, those are the hedges, the hedge fencing. But the way that they have been stacked to get together, it really looks like some kind of crop. See if I can get another view. Wow. Isn't that cool? That's super creative. And then over here we have, of course, a little cauliflower farm <laughs> made from the mum cushions. Oh my gosh, another one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness. I am not having good luck with those today. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is stunning. And this is definitely where that rural element comes into play. Whereas before we had seen a lot of the more urban, urban parts of the island and more developed parts of the island. I love it. And this is a great example of what I was talking about using these utility poles. See what I mean? This is on a very natural part of this island, and yet, you know, you do need, you do need electricity still. Oh, and here we are at the house, okay. Well, we must go. Wait, no, this is, this is a villager house. <laughs> right, <laughs> let me just double check. Again, my apologies for not having coffee. Yes, that's a villager house. Ooh, look at this boardwalk. So this takes you all along the edge of this stunning lake. Wow, and it really opens up back here too. That's almost like refreshing. And this is Red's Beach. Love the simplicity of this secret beach. A few weeds, a plucked flower or two. That's really all you need. And a little life preserver. Here is the house. Oh, and there she is. She's back there too. Oh wait, I can't get in. I don't think I can. It's okay, the house might be unfinished, which is totally fine. Unless, can I sneak in that way? Can I sneak in? No, I don't think so. I think that's intentional. The house looks beautiful though. Look at that exterior. That farm area. <laughs> I Y'all know that I love farms on islands, like whether they're big ones like this one or whether they're small ones. But this one's just so unique. Like, I wanna point it out again because my favorite element of this farm is how everything is compartmentalized just like farms actually are between different sections. Like we see a lot of Animal Crossing farms where, or even just like little gardens that have a bunch of stuff in one plot. But that's not how it is in real life, you know? For the most part, you're gonna have different sections. Look at sweet coal. Yeah, see, like we have a little strawberry patch back there. On the right-hand side, this could be, you know, wheat. It could be any kind of overgrown crop. And then over on the left, we have the cauliflower. I just love that. I think that's so neat. Also, I do wanna see if the beaches are accessible since we are close to them. They might not be. Yeah, it looks like the beaches are pretty natural. This whole area, though, is giving me so much life, which probably surprises no one, but I love it. Oh, we already went this way. 
Now let's go down to the front because I do know that's where resident services and the shops are, which we haven't seen yet. So let's go back across this stunning land bridge. Wait, 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 wait. We haven't gotten there. Hold on, hold on. I completely forgot to check that area out. And, you know, we don't want any stones to be unturned. Not on this island, because this is really lovely. So if I go down here and to the right, wee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, my luck today. No. Come on. There we go. My luck today is not, not great with those. Can I get up here? Maybe you have to have a ladder, but that is so fun. Just like a little lookout. That's cool. Here, let me rip out the camera. Like, how neat is that? That's another great area for stargazing or maybe just going to like watch the fireworks show. Which, let me just say, is my favorite Animal Crossing event. I like that it happens weekly. I think it's fun. You don't have to really do anything. I mean, you can create your own fireworks, but it's just something to watch and enjoy. It's very, uh, very relaxing in my mind. Man, I love this land bridge and this view. So cool. Okay, so to get to the shops, I wanna say they're on the first level. Okay. Looks like Able Sisters, though, might be on the second one. Whee! Oh, and this is that bridge we were on earlier. Oh, how cool. So this definitely is realistic. You know how the waterfall just, it doesn't just stop right here. It very much continues, and then you have this great happening that you of course can walk across, but that is really cool. Wow, I'm loving this too. The bushes with the trees, with the hedges. And here we are, oh, this is Nooks. Abel Sisters is down there, Nooks is up here. <laughs> I don't know how I messed those two up. Wow. And that, is how you do a nook's cranny. Look at how filled up this space is. That looks really, really good. I love it. It's just the right amount of clutter, you know? It's not overwhelming. It's realistic, which I love and appreciate. But yeah, it's not too much. It's just the right amount to really give it personality without, again, feeling overwhelming or, or just a little chaotic. I'm loving this airport entrance. You have snacks, you have a place to sit. Again, it feels just so realistic. And again, again with the same bridge, waterfall happening here. Totally appreciate that. And since we're here, let me just double check. Yeah, love just a good open beach. And here we are at Able Sisters. Man, I am loving this like bush stacking that's happening and it's happened on a few parts of this island, but I've seen it starting to become a little bit of a trend and I think it looks really good. Love, and throughout this island we have some stunted bamboo which again, it just makes it look different, unique. It's like, what is that plant, you know? Just something a little bit different. Now let's go check out the museum, because I do know it is on this right-hand side. I can't get over that farm view and the lake view. And that first section we saw with the guardians. This island truly is full of surprises. we go to the right, we did see this little mart, which unfortunately has been broken into, it looks like. But if we continue, oh, this is sweet. Look at this little rest stop. Yeah, if we continue, it 
brings us right to the museum. Okay, how cool is this entrance? Wow. That is something I've never seen before in terms of a museum entrance. I really like the little standee. I like how close it is to this walkway. Wow. I love the little detail of the wheelchair too, just making it accessible for users. That is so cute. Yeah, wow. I've never seen a museum entrance like that. More and more, I've noticed that I either like museum entrances that are small, like itty bitty, or ones that are super immaculate, like really is the focal point of the island, and there's kind of no in between. <laughs> so all of my favorites are kind of scattered. Look at these bikes right here too. I really like how they're positioned that way. It, there's so many, I keep saying the word realistic, but there are so many elements of this island that are truly so realistic and it brings just such an element of real life to this island too. And here are the girls' houses. What an absolute treat this island has been. I'm really, oh, sweet thing. I really am blown away by just how dynamic different parts of this island are. I mean, from the natural area with the statues and the guardians and that altar to the farm. And then that back right corner where the camper was, that was so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty floored to say the least. <laughs> You guys, absolutely make sure to go give this creator a follow on Instagram and give them some love and tell them how amazing this island was. Holy cow, I'm blown away. Other than that, y'all, let me know in the comments what kind of island you would like to see next. Maybe it's your own island. I do have a submission form in the description box if you'd like to submit your own island. But if you do do that, just bear with me and be patient that a lot come through uh, that form. So... <laughs> Let me know again in the comments what you want to see next, and I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in this big old world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.